What's up guys? We got another Cyrax YouTube concert. It's fucking terrible. Don't watch it. So here we go. Let's check it out. What the fuck is up, YouTube? Are you guys ready for a fun time? <laughs> it's been a while. Tonight is a very special night. Because tonight marks the death of Cyrax in the birth of Desolate Scream. And I figured, why not start it off right? With this. This is... SCARS! Nah. You guys ready to take this up a notch? Mm. This is I Am Machine. Now, I have just one simple fucking question. This for all my fellow Slipknot fans. It's for all my fellow Slipknot fans. Where's my motherfucking fellow maggots at? Where are all my fellow motherfucking maggots? Where are you guys at? I know you guys are in there. Where are you guys at? Alright, uh, we got a few. Yo, Blue Devil, not yet, man, but soon. This for all my fucking fellow maggots. The devil is on.
I want to take the minute. And Shane, like what the fuck? I'm learning just four chords. These. Check it out. And can you how the fuck is everybody doing today, man? How are you guys this evening? How the fuck is everybody doing tonight? Oh, y'all, yeah. give me one second. Hang on. I just got one question. How's everybody doing tonight, man? All y'all trolls, all the fans, everybody in between. How's everybody doing tonight? How the fuck is everyone, man? How you guys doing? For all my fans, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. For all the trolls, well, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves too. Yo, Moon Lagoon, what up? How you doing, man? Hey, I'll fetch you. This next one? I think this might cheer you up a bit, man. Yo, Butters, you just missed it, man. You just missed the fucking sweat not cover. But if you want to, you can come back, rewind, check it out, and then come back if you want. If you want, dog. But this right here, this is for my fellow PvP army, man. And if you guys are new to Black Veil Brides, on behalf of the Black Veil Brides army, I say welcome. This is Saints of the Blood. This next one is called Perfect. Wie kan schakelen, kan versnellen. Now we're gonna take it back a little bit here on this one, man. It's from my fellow fucking disturbed.
This song right here, I'd like to dedicate to anyone out there like me who's either dealt with suicide, been on the edge of suicide, or know somebody that's taken their own life from bullying, addiction, or depression. This song is for you guys. This is Inside the Fire. Let me tell you right now, no one deserves to be in the position of taking their own life. I don't care who you are. No one deserves to be bullied. No one deserves to be pushed around. And no one certainly doesn't deserve to be on the edge of suicide. We got too much hatred going on in the world. Sometimes you really wanna go where everybody knows your name. We have entirely too much hatred going on in this world already. We got the fires in Hawaii that almost destroyed the entire island. We got wars going on overseas where loved ones are dying. We don't need any more fucking hatred. All that shit needs to stop. I'm tired of seeing good people getting hurt. Good people getting bullied. People that stand up for me and fight for me getting attacked. People that stand up for my fans and my family and myself. I'm sick of seeing the hatred. I'm sick of seeing it. And you know, for those of you guys that do spread hatred, I feel bad for you. You wanna know why I feel bad for you? Because when you were young, you weren't born with hatred. No. You weren't born with hatred in your heart. But somewhere along the way, it got taught to you. And you've carried that burden ever since. And I'm sorry that you've had to carry that burden. So I ask you this. Who taught you how to hate? Summer Seal best with Now, with that being said, I have one question for everyone here. You guys say you want me to do better, right? All you guys are always saying that you want me to do better, right? You're always saying that you want me to get help, you want me to do better, right? You guys are always saying that you want to do better. Well, let me ask you this. I'm offering out 
An olive branch of fucking peace and starting over right the fuck now. I'll admit I've made my fair share of mistakes and I take responsibility for that. I take responsibility for my mistakes. So I'm asking you, what do you say we start over? Brain fucking new, no bullshit. You guys allow me to show you who I can really be. If you guys give me that chance, I can promise you those mistakes I made in the past won't happen again. Cause that old me, it's done. Over. I don't want to be that person anymore. You guys say you want to do better? Then give me that motherfucking chance to do it. And I'll show you who I can really be. I'll show you what I can do when I'm not being a bully. I'll promise you that. And you guys can hold me to it. Matter of fact, I want you to hold me to that promise. Those mistakes I made in the past are done. Over. That person I was isn't who I ever wanted to be. Ever. So if you give me that chance, I will and can and am going to do better. I can promise you that. So what do you guys say? What do you guys say we start over? From the very fucking beginning. Give me that chance to show you who I can really be. I'm tired of being angry. I'm tired of being mad. I'm tired of raging out. You guys want to do better? Then give me that chance to do it. And I'll show you who I can be. I'll promise you that. But first, I need to know. Do I have your guys' full blessing to do better. Cause I'll be honest, you guys want me to do better and I want to be better. Cause yes, I am going to get the help that I need. Cause you know, some of you guys, I realized that some of you guys were trolls. Some of you guys were seeing what was going on. And for you guys that saw what was going on, I'm sorry that I didn't take your advice. I'm sorry that I didn't see what was really going on. But starting Monday, I am getting the help that I need. I am going to counseling and I am going to therapy to get the help that I need starting on Monday. Don't believe me? Look it up. I swear to you, I am going to do better. I want to do better. I want to show you guys what I can really do when I'm not going. I want to show you guys what I'm truly capable of doing. Because I'm tired of fighting. I'm sick of it. I hate the fighting. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anyone. I don't want to argue. I don't want the hatred anymore. You guys want to do better, I want to do better. And to you guys that tried to push me in the right direction of doing better, I'm sorry that I didn't take your advice. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I was blinded by hatred and sadness and anger from being bullied and attacked. 
For all you guys that kept on telling me to ignore the hatred, I'm sorry that I didn't listen. But it's kind of hard to listen when you're being pushed and bullied and harassed and attacked all the fucking time. But now that I'm able to do it, it's time to start over. I'm tired of the bullying. I'm tired of being attacked. I want to do better. You guys want to do better. So if you guys let me do what I need to do to make a living, I can promise you guys that I will give you guys the content that you guys deserved all these last five fucking years. With no raging out. No getting mad, no getting angry, and ignoring the fucking bullshit. I can promise you that. Cause Cyrax, he's dead, and he's never coming back. Me, Chance Wilkins. That's what scream, me. I'm here, I'm alive. And I'm gonna do better. I swear it on my motherfucking brains that I'm gonna do better for myself, my friends, my family, and everybody that wants to see me do good. Cause believe me when I say, when I look back on who I used to be, I don't recognize that person anymore. That person that I became because of the bullying and all the getting mad and the angry. I don't recognize that person. I don't want to know that person. That person who I was, is not who I really am. That's not me. That's not who I actually am. But I can promise you right now, I'm gonna do everything in my motherfucking power to do better. I can promise you that. I'm gonna do everything I can to get better. I'm gonna beat this case. And I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to get better. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna do better for you guys, for my fan base, for my friends, my family, and all you guys that have tried to push me to do better. I hope you can forgive me for not taking your advice and ignoring the hatred. Back then, it was hard for me because I didn't know how to handle that kind of a situation. Because I've never been in that kind of a situation before. So it was hard for me to do that. It was hard for me to deal with something that I didn't know how to deal with. I was overwhelmed. I was angry. I was upset. I didn't understand. I didn't understand how to ignore it. How to get rid of it. How to stop it. But now, I do. Yeah, I may never get the answer of how it all started to begin with and how Marty and all of them found me, but that doesn't matter anymore. What matters is me doing better moving forward. And I promise you guys, I'm gonna do that. So to everybody that helped me out and showed me what was going on. Hey, what's poppin'? 
so Try much. Try Popworks now. These popped corn crisps just work because they're crunchy, puffy, and tasty. Mm. Ooh, and never fried. What? Popworks. They just work. And my new beginning starts with this. It's time to bring your life. Let me out. Let me check something real quick. You know, I just want to say this. Some of you guys may not be willing to forgive me. And I'm okay with that. But for those of you that are allowing me to move on and do better and get the help that I need, I want to say thank you. Like I said, I'm only human, just like you guys. We're all human. We all made mistakes. I've made my fair share, just like everyone else has. No one's perfect. We all fucking make mistakes. We all fuck up at one point or another. We all fuck up in some way, shape, or form. And the reason why I can't speak on what I did is because there's so much that's happened over the last five years. There's so many things that went on. That it wasn't just one thing. It was the collaboration of a whole lot of things. And a lot of it was out of anger, out of hatred, out of malice. Out of not knowing what to do. Like I said, for those of you that kept on telling me to get help, to get help, to quit all this shit and to get help. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you guys sooner. I do apologize. And I hope that you guys can forgive me for not knowing what to do, not knowing how to handle a situation that I've never been in. You know, when you're being bullied the way that I've been bullied over the years and making the mistakes that I made based off that bullying, it's hard to know how to deal with it when that person is faceless. You don't know who they are. You don't know where they live. It's hard to deal with it. It really is. It's very hard to deal with when you don't know who the people are. You don't know where they live. You don't even know why they do it. You don't know why you're being targeted. And let me tell you, I may not know why Marty targeted me right from the jump, but I do know this. That from this stream and this video and this very moment moving forward, 
the old me is done. Over. You guys want to be better, and I want to do better, and I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to do that for you, my family, my friends, but more importantly, for myself. I want to be better. I want to do better. You guys told me to get help, and I didn't listen, and I'm sorry about that. But you guys have my word that starting Monday, my journey to being better begins at 5 p.m. Monday afternoon. My journey to doing better and my road to recovery starts at 5 p.m. Monday evening when I step through those doors. When I step through those doors for my therapy, my journey and my road to recovery begins. And believe me, I'm excited for it. I'm ready to be better. I'm ready to be the my, I'm ready to be the me that I should have been all these years. I'm ready to be better. I'm ready to shed my past for good and do better like you guys want me to do. And if there's anything that I said to anybody to wrong you guys, if there's anything I ever said when you guys were trying to help me, I'm sorry. If you guys are trying to help me and I said something to wrong you, I'm sorry. I'm deeply and truly sorry. If you guys tried to reach out and help me and I took it as a troll, I apologize. And I'm sorry. And I hope that you can forgive me for that. Hold on one minute, guys. You wanna know what's really sad? Of all the years of being bullied, when my loved ones and my friends died, and those that close to me died, I never once, never once, Got a chance.
to grieve over their death. And that should hurt a lot. It really did. I lost a lot of friends, family, and loved ones over the years to various reasons. And it killed me not being able to mourn their deaths. And you know, for those of you that do know, you guys know where I'm coming from with this. For those of you that don't know about me having a kid, allow me to explain what happened. A couple years ago, before my ex-girlfriend Heather passed away, before she moved out, she ended up pregnant right before she left. And when she left, she had had a kid. And I would later find out that that kid was mine. And she had given it up for adoption without telling me. I had to find out through her baby daddy, Ricky, who was her boyfriend at the time, that I had had a kid and that it was mine. And that she had given it up for adoption in secret. And let me tell you, there's not a day that doesn't go by where I don't think about that child and how much I miss them and how much I wish that I could be in their life. But looking back, in a way, I'm grateful that it happened the way that I did. Because now that child doesn't have to suffer the way that I've suffered. That child doesn't have to watch me go through all this pain and this suffering and this hurt. That child doesn't have to bear witness to all the pain that I've had to deal with. It doesn't hurt not being able to see my kid more than you know. But above all, I'm glad that my child doesn't have to go through this. Doesn't have to deal with the hatred. Doesn't have to deal with what I have to deal with doesn't have to be in the spotlight. My kid gets to live a normal life. And I'm, that's what I'm most happy about, is that my kid gets to live a normal life, just like any child gets to live and should live. Like I said, do I think about my kid every fucking day? And does it hurt me that, my, that I don't get to see my kids grow up? Very much so. But above all else, my child doesn't have to deal with what I have to deal with. At least my kid gets to live a normal life. And that's all I ever would have wanted for my kid, is for them to have a normal life. Like I said, at least my kid gets to live a normal life and grow up normal. And I know that one day my kid will reach out to me when they're ready. And when that day comes, I'll be here waiting for them. And like I said, for all you guys out there that tried to push me in the right direction to get help, I'm sorry I didn't listen. 
I'm sorry that I was so filled with anger and hatred and sadness. I'm sorry that I ignored what you guys tried to tell me and tried to show me that I needed the help. But like I said, starting Monday at 5 p.m., my journey to recovery begins and I'm looking forward to it, very much so. And I can promise you guys, after these 16 weeks of recovery are out, I'm gonna be a better person. I can promise you that. And I hope to be able to show you guys that change along the way. I hope that I can show you guys that change and that transformation along my journey to doing better. But with that being said, I'm about to sit down, chill out, eat dinner, watch TV and relax for the rest of the night. I might do a gaming stream later on, I don't know. But I just want you guys to know that I love you and I appreciate you guys that have tried to help me. And hopefully you guys get to see my transformation into being better. With that being said, I love you guys. And here's to a brand new me and a brand new start to my life. I love you guys. Don't ever, 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 don't ever